Hey everyone, my name is Brooke Hemingway. I'm a diamond ambassador with Plexus Worldwide. And I'm a little bit nervous to make this video, but I've been thinking a lot about this lately. And so I wanted to hop on here and share a little bit of my heart and the way that I think about opportunity and what brought me to feeling the way that I feel about opportunity. And I will try to keep it all together. So I know the title of this video is a little bit strange, Bra Straps, Safety Pins, and Electric Bills. So that stems from growing up, and I hope that my mom doesn't mind me sharing any of this, but um, you know, my mother and father were great people. My father had some struggles in his life and some mental illness, and that led to him being unstable um, as I was a teenager and as I was growing up, and my parents did end up getting divorced when I was 16 years old. And I didn't know a lot of the struggles that my mom went through while I was young because as mothers, I think we hide a lot of those things from our children for good reason. We want to protect them and we want them to enjoy their childhood and their teenage years. But as I got older, I learned some things about what my mom struggled with and it gave me a new appreciation for everything that she had done for us. I remember her sharing um, sharing with me that there were times when she had bras that were kept together by safety pins because she didn't have money to go out and spend on herself to buy a new bra. I remember my dad being not stable and not paying electric bills and the electricity being turned off and then my mom having to take care of that. And so um, this week I've been thinking a lot about opportunity and why it frustrates me so much when people are given an amazing opportunity like Plexus and they don't really do anything with it or they take it for granted or maybe their life is really comfortable right now. Maybe that's you. Maybe your life is very comfortable. My life honestly is very comfortable. I don't expect my husband to lose his mind. I don't expect him to leave me. I don't expect to be getting divorced. I don't expect any of those things. I really truly don't. Um, but that being said, you never know what's going to happen in life. You never know if your partner is going to lose their job. You never know if there's going to be a health crisis like cancer that strikes your family. You never know what's going to happen in the economy. You never know what kind of jobs are going to be uh, not needed anymore. You never know if somebody in your family is going to come upon a hard time and they're going to need your help. You never know if you're going to be alone in taking care of your family. And so when I think back on my mom's experience and I think about all the people that I know that have come across hard times in their life that before had a great life. They had um, you know, everything that they needed and they wanted for nothing, just like me. I have everything that I need. I don't want for anything. The Lord has blessed us so much. I have an amazing husband, amazing children. You know, life is not perfect. Life is still hard. But, um, you know, I really have been blessed so much. But I have such an appreciation that anything can change. And so when I talk about this opportunity, and one of the reasons I'm so passionate about this opportunity is because I know that life is not, nothing in life is guaranteed. And you cannot worry about creating another plan when everything else is falling apart. And so I see Plexus as being the most amazing opportunity that if you start intentionally working it now, and if you start intentionally building a strong business, instead of taking it for granted, instead of not having an attitude of gratitude, there may be a time in your life when you will be so incredibly grateful that you took this seriously, that you actually put your heart and your effort and your energy into it, that you set your fears aside and you didn't let them get the best of you, that you took the advice and the counsel of your sponsor and you, you tried the things that they're telling you to try because they care about you, they love you, they want you to be successful. And everybody comes to this business for a different reason. We all come with um, a different background, maybe different baggage, right? We all have different life experiences. But sometimes I wanna just take someone by the shoulders and I wanna just shake them. And I wanna say, 
do you know what you have here? If you apply yourself and you learn and you grow and you reach out and you do all those things that it takes because it's not a free lunch. It's not a lottery ticket. Absolutely, it's not. But what I have been given through this experience, both financially, um, health-wise, spiritually, um, relationship-wise, has been worth every bit of sacrifice that I've had to give. But I just sometimes want to shake people and say, do you know what you have here? Do you know how foolish it would be to squander opportunity? You know, many of you have watched videos by other network marketing professionals, and they talk about how one of the biggest fears that people have is the fear of missing out on something and the fear of loss and um, losing something. And I truly feel that five years down the road, if you have not grasped this opportunity and you were here at this time, in this moment, in this company, when we have some really big, amazing changes and exciting things that are going to be announced in May, I really feel like you are going to look back and you are going to regret it. There are so many paths you can take, I know, and I'm grateful for my education. I'm grateful that I have my nursing degree. I'm grateful that I have my kinesiology degree, but those degrees were never going to provide the type of income and the type of freedom that this opportunity has provided to me. Never, ever in a million years could I have made the type of money that I make now working as a nurse unless I had three full-time jobs as a nurse. I, all I would have to do is work more and more and more. And that is the beauty of residual income. And so I don't want you to wake up five years from now and be like, gosh, I wish I had really joined Brooke and I wish I had really listened to her. And I wish I had done this crazy network marketing thing that by the way, in five years, you know, millions more Americans are going to be doing network marketing. Plexus is going to be a household name. It's not a household name yet. In most markets, it is still brand, brand new. And even in markets where it's not, guess what? You have networks and everybody knows somebody and, and that person knows somebody. That's the beauty of network marketing is that it can be pretty saturated in an area and you can still grow and become a jewel in this company. So I don't want you to wake up in five years and be like, what if? Because that's what happens when you miss out on an opportunity and you don't take advantage of it, when you don't put your whole heart into something and when you kind of slack at something, it does, um, it affects your soul and you know that you could have given it more. And so when people quit, because they say, gosh, this didn't work for me. You know, maybe they tried, sort of tried the business for six months, or maybe they sort of tried the business for a year and they say, well, I gave it a year. I'm like, did you really give it your all? Because if you really, really give it your all and you work on the personal growth and you work on your skills um, and you apply yourself each and every day, there's, to me, there is no way that you can fail and no way that you cannot succeed. Um, this is something that I think people need to dedicate at least four years of good, solid work to get to the status that they want to be at. Now, for me, that happened faster. You know, I was blessed with great people in my downline, some great running buddies. And I reached the top of the company in a year. It doesn't happen for most people. And I know that it can be hard to have that patience and that perspective. But in what universe do people reach that kind of income in a year? It's not normal, right? Most people, you know, work as a school teacher. Maybe they make forty or fifty thousand dollars a year, or they work um, as a nurse. Maybe they make eighty or ninety thousand dollars a year. You know, um, people. People have to work really hard for the money that they work. Well, in Plexus, you do have to work to make money, but over time it becomes residual. And so if you are somebody that was like me and you are somebody that feels like, you know what, I don't really need this opportunity. Um, I have a great job right now. My spouse has a great job right now. You know, we our house is fine. We're happy. Maybe you come from money. Maybe you have money. Maybe you just don't really want for anything or you don't know why you would want this. I want you to think about the what if. And I don't say that to make you 
scared. Like, I don't want you to fear and I don't, I don't want you to act out of fear, but I want you to be really realistic and very practical. That's one of the gifts that the Lord gave me. I'm very realistic. I'm very bottom line practical and I can see it. I can see it in front of me. And so I want you to think, you know, what if there was a medical emergency in my family? What if my husband lost his job? What if I lost my job? What if I became disabled? What if, um, what if uh, you know, the cost of living dramatically increased? Think about the what if. And think about if your budget and your income could handle that. Maybe it could. If that's you, think about other things outside of you. Think about the things in your life that you could contribute to the things that you are passionate about, things that you would love to contribute to, things that you would love to do. There are a lot of things in my life that I want to do, a lot of experiences that I want to give my children. I want them to see the world. I want them to give service in poor countries. I want them to live a life with experience and depth and breadth so that they can be beautiful, sensitive human beings that love the Lord and want to serve the Lord. And that takes money and that takes time. And if you have a traditional job, and if my husband has a traditional job or he has to work five days a week, it's very difficult to do that. So think about the possibilities. Think about the potential. Think about realistically all of the things that happen in life. And do not take this opportunity for granted. Do not take any wonderful opportunity that has been placed in front of you for granted. I know you will wake up five years from now and you'll be like, why did I not do this crazy plexus thing that Brooke has been talking about all the time? Um, this is something for people that have an education, people that don't have an education, um, people that have a career, people that don't have a career. This is really for anybody. If you love people, then you can do this. Even if you're shy, you can do this. If you have um, skills in this, you can do this. If you don't have skills like me, I had no skills in doing this kind of thing in social media, any of that. I didn't have those skills, but I did this. So I just want to encourage you guys to think about my mom's story of bra straps, safety pins, and electric bills. I want you to get real, real. I want you to think about the people in your life that have struggled financially. Maybe that's you, maybe it's a family member, maybe it's a friend, uh, maybe it really hits home to you, maybe it doesn't. But I can tell you what, there's somebody in your network that that hits home with. And if you can bring them health and wellness, and you can also bring them financial security, which by the way, security is a woman's number one need. <laughs> if you can bring them better health and financial security, what a blessing you will be to the masses. And so I just, I just wish I could take you by the shoulders and shake you right now and tell you this is not a waste of your time, but you have to apply yourself. You have to step outside of your comfort zone. You have to do things that you thought you would never do. Never, ever say never. That's another lesson that my mom taught me is never say never. I did say I would never do plexus. Here I am totally doing plexus and I love it. I love the person that it's made me become. It's been very difficult at times. There's been a lot of personal growth, a lot of struggle but it's brought so many blessings into my life. The people I know, the health benefits I've experienced and my family has experienced, the financial blessings are unreal. If you are not familiar with the compensation plan, get familiar with the compensation plan and you'll understand. I'm a diamond. My husband's an emerald working towards diamond. I've re-enrolled under myself because we're allowed to do that. And I'm going to work my way back up to diamond again. So that salary will double for me. And my husband will also have that salary. Can you imagine the amazing things that we will be able to do, not only for our family, but for others that we love and for organizations that we care about? I, I was raised to see money as a tool, and I'm super grateful for that blessing because I don't love money. I love what I can do with money, though. I could live without money. In fact, if you knew me, you'd know that my curtains were super cheap on Amazon. I'm really cheap about myself. I don't go shopping. I'm, I'm a very simple, basic person. 
we do very well. We live a comfortable life, but things don't do it for me. Things don't excite me, but what I can do with that money, that really excites me because I know that the Lord wants people to have money that will do good things with it. And part of that for me has been the blessing of being able to have a lot of children. It's not cheap to have children. I'm expecting my sixth child. I live in Hawaii. It's not inexpensive to live here. So I realize this as a blessing from the Lord. I know that it's 100% because of his will. And I intend to do really great things with his blessing. And I, continue, I intend to continue building my business. And if you're not building a business yet, I just want to tell you, you need to get on this train and you need to do it because someday you will wish that you had. So that's just my message today. Um, have a beautiful day. I just wanted to share my heart with you, and I'm so glad I didn't start crying. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.